As a young boy, our family were parishioners of Our Lady of Council Church on Brooks Avenue in Rochester. My mom and dad and my five brothers and sisters would come to Sunday Mass Sunday after Sunday after Sunday. Before entering our pew, each member of our family would reverently genuflect before entering the pew. This simple act of genuflecting was symbolic of the reverence that our family brought to the house of God, our parish church. When we talk about the culture of Eucharistic reverence, we are talking about a posture of awe and wonder before God. When our parish community gathers for Sunday Mass, it is appropriate that we greet each other and affirm that we are brothers and sisters to each other. I look forward to seeing and greeting you when we gather to celebrate the Eucharist. And I value that we are a parish community who love and support one another. Having said all that, at Eucharist, God is the center of what we do, not us. When our liturgical procession begins with our altar servers carrying the procession, carrying the crucifix, leading the procession, carrying the crucifix, it focuses us on what we are about as a community with God at the center of all we do. In the Eucharistic liturgy, we are encountering the total self-giving love of the Word made flesh. God dwells among us in the scriptures, in the assembly, and most especially in the Eucharistic presence of the Lord. In the Eucharistic liturgy, we are encountering the Lord who wishes to dwell among us, who wishes to feed and to nourish us with his own body and blood. For us to deepen our awareness of God's presence, we need a response of reverence and gratitude. When we approach the liturgy, our lives are being transformed in embracing the divine love that is given in the proclamation of the scriptures, the living word of God, and the gathered assembly, and in the Eucharistic mystery of bread and wine becoming the body and blood of Jesus in which we are fed and nourished. With an attitude of reverence, we stand in awe before the mystery that Jesus Christ gave his life to save us. We celebrate the mystery that Jesus Christ loves you with an unending love. As our response to the Eucharistic presence of Christ, we offer our lives as a return sacrifice to the triune God who created, redeems, and gathers all men and women into communion of love that surpasses all understanding. With an attitude of reverence, we are encountering a real God who wants to change our lives in a genuine way in the Eucharistic liturgy. As we seek to develop within us this attitude of reverence, my question for you is how comfortable are you with silence? It is so important that we be comfortable with silence to have this sense of awe and wonder in the presence of God. We probably need to confess that we are probably too verbo verbose in celebrating liturgy. Even at the beginning of the Mass, I suggest that we greet each one another as a parish community, but then we allow a period of silence to focus ourselves on the presence of God. During the liturgy, we need to allow times for silent reverence to be more deeply aware of the mystery of God's presence. Indeed, the liturgy invites us to integrate silence into various parts of the Mass. Silence is integral to our human experience. When someone tells you about something tragic that is happening, silence is often the most appropriate response. You may not see yourself as a contemplative, but in Eucharist, may we contemplate in silence the mystery of encountering the Lord and to be grateful for the Eucharist we receive. At Mass, we are not just talking to Jesus, we are praying to the Father through Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the preface dialogue, the priest invites us to lift up our hearts, and we respond, we have lifted them up to the Lord. May our prayer include this sense of awe and wonder and the presence of our loving God. May we see that our bodies matter in our attitude of reverence. We encourage in the communion line to make a reverent bow as the person in front of you is receiving communion. This is your way of seeking a reverent posture as you are about to receive the life of Christ into your heart. 
One of my favorite liturgies is our first communion liturgies. As our first communicants with hands held together in a praying posture process into church, there is a beautiful sense of reverence as our children are about to make the first communion. It is not just a photo opportunity, it is a liturgy of prayerful reverence and awe in which we are aware of God's presence among us. At St. Joseph's Church, we are in the process of bringing stained glass windows into the church. Why? The beauty of these windows adds further reverence to the architecture of the church. The art and the architecture of the church creates an environment of reverence. May we reverence the altar in which the Eucharist is celebrated. May we reverence the tabernacle in which the Eucharistic Lord is present. And may we have a sense of reverence in the whole church, which is the house of God. So as we celebrate the real presence of Jesus among us in the Mass, we are acknowledging and celebrating the personal presence of the Lord dwelling among us. This calls from us an attitude of reverence. God chooses to dwell among us, and the mystery of the Eucharist is the source and the summit of our prayer life. And so, in conclusion, my question for you is to reflect. And as you reflect on your attitude of reverence in the celebration of Sunday Mass, what are the ways you express reverence during the celebration of the Eucharist?